Israel's putting into practice its plan to return to normality with schools and kindergartens beginning to open their doors. But concerns have been raised after the country's prime minister proposed a controversial measure to track children's social distancing by microchipping them. I spoke with our heads of technology in order to find measures Israel is good at, such as sensors. For instance, every person, every kid, I want it on kids first, would have a sensor that would sound an alarm when you get too close, like the ones on cars. Well, the Prime Minister's proposal received a barrage of criticism, especially from cybersecurity experts. Many of them questioned the legality of chipping people. The head of cyber studies at Tel Aviv Academic College, Tal Pavel, believes that it will allow criminals, including kidnappers and paedophiles, to track children. This initiative, it might be kind of road might, roadmap to disaster. It can harm kids from a wide range of aspects. Since the information of the uh, physical presence, the geolocation of, of the kids will be uh, on the net, it won't be to be able to, to hack and to breach those kind of geolocation. It can be uh, a cyber criminals or criminal to kidnap those kids. It can be pedophiles. It can be also terrorists. Because if I know a target, I can track his children, I can harm his children. The consequences uh, 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 may be, uh, as far as I see it, uh, uh, very uh, uh, dangerous. Well, the government countered that criticism, claiming that no information will be kept on databases and the technology is just designed to keep kids at a safe distance from each other. It claimed no privacy laws would be violated and the chips would be optional. But Tal Pavel again believes that it could quickly become mandatory. It may be voluntarily today and it may be mandatory tomorrow. So once again, when you open the door and, and someone enter the door and, and suggest that it will be voluntary today, it may be mandatory tomorrow and, and the consequences may be harmful. We see so many cases of, of leaked databases. At the end of the day, a lot of data that are gathered find a way out. It's invasion to our privacy, it's invasion to our perhaps, I don't know, body. The problem is that um, we live in an era, in a digital era in which our borders, our borders of uh, privacy, of anonymity, of uh, online freedom is getting narrow uh, day by day.